through the Blink Dagger of MSS. Yeah, so goes... yeah they, they, they're really trying to capitalize on their advantage. Because I think they also understand, though, like even with all this initiation, if, if OG have time to farm up... Wait, Envy? Uh, is he baiting with this spin oh, TP out? That is so Envy. This is like <laughs> ultra next level. I'm leaving the fight, which is the damage we require to actually win the fight. But we'll still win the fight because there's enough confidence in the rest of Cloud9 to not kill off Fly, who's retreating back to the T1 tower. The Lich holding Cold Embrace. He'll get a little bit of levels. Void level four is available. They'll still kill off Fly. <laughs> I think this is the first time I've seen someone spin TP out of his initiations off when he gets a big item. And that BKB is going to have to do work for him. They have Medallion. They can focus the target nicely. They got the Ice Armor for survival. S4 was scattered, moving up towards the Shrine. They're scanning to see where else he goes. Fly, gonna scout up MSS, the Blink Lasso. It's over on the wide, but not the target they wanted. Especially when the Stampede kicks in. A double Hofstock. The Omni Fire Fly is low. The BKB is fired oh, from chain. MSS. The Chain oh, Cross oh, are oh. Getting The damage! They were not expecting that! Jerax will fall! Cloud9 just got the greatest fight they could have ever have asked for! OG will be wiped from the face of the Earth, and they get the biggest one at the end and it will go down for 343 gold into MSS. Paladin that, needs a moment to pat himself on the that's back. That's good. We're going to see this one again. Yeah, see it in battle view. So here comes the Omni Slash and Fly still gets Cold Embrace off and then they're just starting to stack up really nicely. There it is. Boom, 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 boom. Three or four heroes under Firefly, Chain Frost hitting like eight or eight or nine times there. And what an absolute trashing of a fight. 5-0 life. All right, that's what it took to get them back in the game. That wasn't too hard. Yeah. Now it's interesting. More hard of Tarasco over on over on the Phantom Lancer. He's got Butterfly. Anna's got Butterfly. There's no way Juggernaut could even guarantee his, he hits his damage. And you can see Eternal Envy realizing his, his conundrum. He's got Battle Fury and he's quick by it. <laughs> he's, he's trying to catch up and at least clean up the mess that's inside of his base. Mjolnir is not enough. BKP from MSS commits him, but now he's just going to hold so futile. Turning around, looking for Anna, but they don't find the kill. S4 blinks, but MSS blinks away in time. Doesn't get caught by the Hoofstop. That would have been game if he goes down here. Here comes Lich. Oh, I guess Jerax with a Shadow Blade hit into Nova. He was not ready for that one. Wrecked. Brutally. But OG, very nice fight again. Fly on the Winter Wyvern with a great save onto No-Tail. Yep. Oh. Lasso, oh, the curse, it's on MSS, Eternal Envy's in the middle of it with the double stun follow-up. You've lost your bat rider, Queen of Pain will go down, she'll buy back, they still really want to fight to the last man. There's so much PL, the Hulkstone from S4 catching thrice, and that is the game. They had to get a clearer message just to ensure it was GG, OG take game one. That was a nice game. A lot of good action, a lot of fights from both sides, but OG with the superior farm toward the end and the, the stronger late game lineup, it ends up looking easy for them in the later portion, but they did have to make a couple of pretty serious outplays to get there. Yeah. Uh, and that's what makes me wonder, like it, this, this type of Cloud9 lineup that plays a bit faster, that's better early, better at fighting, if they played it better, would this OG lineup have been after that kill? And that can very quickly snowball in this mid lane. We're going to roll in with AUI. Will be dodge. And this time, Anna actually got a little bit of vision thanks to the Obs Ward, but... He's still going to die. Yeah, he's got a couple of one charges up his sleeve and with the cold snap and the ice wall. Oh, he missed! Oh, he's going to... Oh, no! Oh, the slave is a little bit off to oh. the right! Anna is so good. <laughs> <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> I think Fata's a bit triggered now. That That is so... Oh, my God. It's like, it's one thing that you miss, but you feel like that attack didn't miss because you, you know, you fired it and you didn't see the miss tech and a level five invoker. And that is really going again. Now instead there's plays available. Uh, Very nice by Jerex. You want to tilt somebody. This is one way to do a snowball forward. Fada able to get the, uh, able to get cold snapped up. Anna with the extra help of fly. <gasps> the light strike array is actually going to oh. get him with the slave. Fada, turn your frown upside down. They'll get both. The Fire Rat, as well as the Master of Magic. Easily ended in, in Cloud9 kills, but got outmaneuvered and outplayed in both occasions. And they also defend their tower this way. OG barely took any damage on that. And they claim their own. No Tail got that one. Take out Pi, he will be fine. Lit. Okay. Oh, Sunstrike. Oh, yep. Oh, boom! Got him! Eta, prosta, nieta.
<laughs> now rush. Mid tower is going to go down. So another. Going for eternal envy. It's not even for Pylai Dai. Jirax doesn't even give a crap about the support. He wants the core. The Nova. They're trying to run out. Envy thought for a moment he could run in. In fact, he made his way towards the Nova. Shards by Ford once more. Here comes your Timbersaw, but he got smacked down by the Nova. And Anaris joined the fight as well. The call is out. S4 held them there. The Sunray. He cannot reach Jirax, but the burn will hit onto Fada. Second life available. Thanks to the Aegis of the Immortal. Timbersaw drained insanely low. AUI wants something more. No tell on the run back out. All of OG are trying to run out, and No tell hides <laughs> in a crevice. They don't see him. They have no idea. Clueless is the name of this movie. Cloud9 need detection, man. Like this, this glimmer cape and this ghost walk is doing so much. I think they tried. They put a sentry ward down. The he can't. He can't even chain away. The tornado, at least his Yule Scepter will protect him from that. The Sunstrike somehow manages to hit the eye of the Cloud 9 4 hero needle. Oh, confidence from Envy. Call from S4, ineffective. The problem is for Cloud 9 that they're not accomplishing anything, they're just losing towers. Yep. There oh, we go. Here we go. They get one, but the snowball S4. He's got the call on the back line. Starts to spin. The sun strike will connect on the mark. AUI will fall. There's your culling blade. Bonus damage for every or movement for everyone. And at least Pylai dies. Ulti has done some work. Tuska will fall. The Gemma True sights on the ground. Anna's completely bone dry of mana. But then again, No Tail is wetting his lips on Pylai dies. Something. Call. Lena. Trapped once more, drained once more. S4 doesn't have his Culling Blade available, will dodge the stun from Fada. The man who cannot dodge it is MSS, running outside the bait as far away as possible. Do they keep the chase going? It looks like Pugna wants to, sees the TP and then realizes they come back. But they've already taken the top, they've already taken the mid. Has himself a full size device, already replacing the slot. And Fada piglet it up. S4 will get the call, perfect chain control, and GG is done. OG had a brilliant one in their group stage at TI6, and they're off to a pretty good start with this 2-0 victory over Cloud9. Yep, there's still some of those classic OG moments in in this game. I think when OG go far in, in tournaments or even win them, uh, one of the I think the two most deciding factors are that they're very good at understanding when and how to fight and they set up good conditions to, to take the fights under. And the other thing is they they just have this clutchness on, in their support duo, very good at playing save style, um, at making very quick reactions and quick moves. In this game, I think the Tusk and Axe both